everyone, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a very requested video and today I'm finally going to be doing a book review and today I'm going to be reviewing and discussing The Massive It by Stephen King. So basically since my Stephen King book collection everyone asked where is it? I literally got comments daily. Where is it? Have you read it? Julia, read it. Julia, please do a review on it. Julia, are you seeing the movie It? Can you do a review on that too? <laughs> Which, I love you. I'm glad that you guys, most of you at least, or some of you, respect my opinion and want to hear my thoughts. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. <laughs> um, it was just really funny getting that response because I've never really had that response and I've never had a video that requested. So, today we're going to be talking about it. I already did see the film. I have my movie review linked when it goes live somewhere down below probably instead of on the screen because down below down below let's talk about the book i liked it it was good i'm happy with it <laughs> end of video done <laughs> no um so for the book it comes out i'm so proud <laughs> that i finished this book and as you can see i'm very hyped because i was sitting here for 40 minutes filming my movie reviews so i'm a little like oh my god i need to do something else but i do have to film this so this was massive uh, this is by far the biggest book I've ever read. It's claimed that's a word. It's um, the scariest book I've ever read. I don't get scared from books, but this was like the creepiest book I've ever read. Or, yeah. Yeah. Like, I wasn't terrified. It's not giving me nightmares. But, like, I don't get scared that easy. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But it was the scariest king I've ever read. And it was the scariest book that I've ever read. And it's the biggest book I've ever read. So, it's claimed a lot of uh, prizes, awards, uh. So yeah, I tabbed it like crazy. We'll go over um, my color coding system because I'm sure you all care about my color coding system. So basically, I wanted to heavily tab. Shh. I wanted to heavily. I wanted to heavily tab this book so I can, you know, keep, like, you know, it's just my thing. Um, so blue was for characters, which I used a lot. Just details about the characters I wanted to note or just some lines about the characters that I really loved, some characters that I really love, things like that. Orange was for themes, which I recorded a lot of themes. There's a lot of important topics in this book such as um, abuse as a topic, there's obviously a topic of fear, and there's just so many topics that this book explores, which I really like seeing. Um, yellow is for quotes that I just liked and I wanted to note, so yes. Green, there was only a few of them, but that was for references. So any references that I saw to other Stephen King books, I noted in it. And last but not least, pink was for any Pennywise moments or any moments that were like something that Pennywise did or something that was a con, like something that, you know, just anything Pennywise related, I mostly tabbed it. So those are my tabs. Let's talk about it. So if you don't know, it, um, I just went into it knowing that it, that it, it, oh my god, how many times am I going to say it in this video? Um, I just went into it knowing that it is, <laughs> went into this book knowing that it's about a clown and that's supposed to be really scary. That's all I knew. That's all I knew. I kind of suggest going into it that way. So, but I knew it received so much praise and I knew it's a lot of people's favorite King book, which has definitely made it into my top three for sure. Um, if you do want to know more, I will say right now that this book is about a clown named Pennywise who comes back every 27 years to make <laughs> cause chaos in the town of Derry, Maine, which is a small town. And there's these group of friends, they're called like the losers, which I love them all. I think their gang is perfect. Like if you like books like The Outsiders or that movie what's it called the one with River, River Phoenix um, where they're like a group of friends and you can really see their bond in the relationship it was like that and it was really good but they're the group called the losers and they experience some things with this clown and they um, constantly hear about kids going missing and all these things happening and they try to investigate and that's all we know and then fast forward 27 years later they get contacted to go back to Derry to deal with it again because it's come back and they made an oath when they were kids that if it ever came back they would go back to Derry to deal with the whole situation. So this book goes between past and present and it's really nice to see we switch a lot between past and present like mid-sentence we're switching <laughs> which it was a little bit at first it was tough to follow and definitely at times when it switched mid-sentence I was like oh my god so much um yeah but I definitely like them 
when they were kids better. That's just my opinion. Sometimes I like the adult point of view more, but most of the time I like the kid point of view. It was really just nice, and you got to see their friendship. And yes, <laughs> the characters in this book, 10 out of 10. <laughs> I loved them. They were so fleshed out. In the book, the movie differs a little bit for me because I kind of have more favorites in the movie. Like, it changes a little bit. But in the book, my favorites were... Well, I love them all. But my favorites were Pennywise, of course, um, Bill, and of course Georgie too. But Bill and Richie, I loved them so much. Henry was also became a favorite as like a villain point of view, not as like, oh my god, I love you. Um, Pennywise... Let's talk about him. I think he was really well done. I think he was creepy. Um, definitely the film was a little bit more, like it was scarier than the book, this person, because I do get more scared from films than books. Um, the films didn't terrify me, but like there was some creepy scenes. And same with the book, there is some creepy scenes. So if you're afraid of clowns, Basically talking about Bill, he is like one of the first people we see. Um, his name is Stuttering Bill or Big Bill and in the book, he's really like almost the leader of this group, or that's how I interpreted it, that he's, um, that Bill like helped keep the group together and he helped guide them, which in the film, it's a bit different, but we're not talking about the film. <laughs> um, so I really liked Bill. I really admired him. It really made me sad seeing Georgie's death, which is his younger brother. Uh, that happens very early on in the book that his little brother Georgie goes out with a paper boat, which I'm sure you've seen that, especially in advertisements to that little boat. And he has his yellow jacket on, his raincoat, and he goes outside and he puts it in the stream and it flows and it goes down the drain and then Pennywise is there. So yeah, that part, like, oh my gosh. 10 out of 10. <laughs> but the characters were great. Bill was one of my favorites. Richie added so much comic relief, especially in the film. We're not talking about the film. The, the book, though, um, he added a lot of comic relief. He was really funny. He made a lot of jokes, and I was really happy about his character. Stan was another one that I really liked. He's like the Jewish boy. They make a lot of like Jewish stereotypical jokes, which again, I could see how it pissed some people off, but I personally didn't take them seriously. <laughs> That's just me. Um, I actually don't support any like things, but they're kids and they're like joking around. He's laughing too. Like they're like, oh, Jews make a lot of money. And then they all start laughing. They're just kids. And I didn't mind seeing that. And I just thought like Stan was like a really, like they were all so different in the group. And I was really happy to see like so much different themes and diversity in that group. Then we have Beverly who in the book, I really liked. Um, I think it was good to have a female in the group and it was good just, I don't know, I felt like, we're not talking about the film, Julia. I felt like in the film though that they were like so much more obsessed with her than in the book. But Ben is adorable. Um, in the book, not as much as the film. In the film, he's really cute, just saying. He's like a little, 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 little angel. Um, but the characters in this book are amazing. They're so fleshed out. I'm sure I'm not going to forget these characters. These are definitely characters that are going to stick with me for a while. In this book, I did enjoy the past and present again. Sometimes it was a little much, but then at times it was done very well. And I also thought the scary moments were done well as well. This book took me forever to read, which I don't like I wasn't happy about it, but it is a massive book and it took me a while to read. I was reading books on the side. It took me over a month and I was reading other things on the side and I was finishing other things on the side. But um, I wish I just took a week and just read it. Just, or two, three weeks, just read the whole thing, then spacing it out as much as I did. It wasn't because I wasn't enjoying it. It was just a lot. And then at times, near the, especially near the end, I didn't want it to end. So I didn't want to read it because I was like, I don't want it to be over. And then when it was over, I was like, it's over. Tears. Definitely, could they have cut a lot of stuff out? Like, could they, it didn't need to be this long? No, <laughs> that's just my opinion. It didn't need to be this long, but it is. So I can't do anything about that. Um, maybe my enjoyment would have been different if it was shorter. I'm not talking like 300 pages, but I don't know, maybe like 600 or 800, then 1,150 pages. But again, Still a great book, just my thoughts. Book I really liked, I really liked the small town. Of course, it's taking place in Maine. It's a in a town called Derry. I thought all of that was done very well. Some references in this book, and I know I didn't catch all of them, which I wish I would have paid more attention to all the references, but there was a few that I caught. Like I caught the um, 
Shawshank Redemption mention with the prison. I caught that. I haven't read the Shawshank Redemption, but I definitely know about it. Um, so I caught that part, and I also call, caught the the Shining reference when they referred to Dick Holleran, which I was so happy to see. It made me so happy. And I know there was more references, and I didn't tap them all, but there was some, so... Yeah. Definitely I would suggest reading this book, especially before seeing the movie. Um, the book, in my opinion, was very well done. Again, just some cons with it were just pacing. Um, and I know I might get some backlash for saying that. And it's not because I'm lazy and I don't want to read this big of a book because I did finish the whole thing and I am super proud that I did read this much and this many pages. And let me tell you, it takes a lot of dedication. Don't fight me on this. <laughs> It was overall a great story. Um, I just don't think it needed to be this long. Um, I didn't deduct much ratings for that, and like I didn't like deduct like two stars for it. But um, this book is around like a four or four point five star for me. It's definitely in my top three. King. I don't know if I would rate like The Shining, Mr. Mercedes, and then it. But like then again, like it is kind of better than The Shining and. Mr. Mercedes like I don't know how to feel about it so it's definitely between like a four and a five star read for me it's a solid read and it's in my top three but I don't exactly know where it stands because The Shining has a special place in my heart and so does Mr. Mercedes so I don't know but it was a great book I'm glad you guys like forced me to read it <laughs> and I would suggest it if you haven't read it have it that was my review on it by Stephen King let me know your thoughts in the comments down below I'd also love to know which edition of this book do you have because they have a lot of pretty editions of it um, this is my favorite but they've come out with some new ones that I love um, that are really nice like the new movie one I want and the what is it the one with the balloon which is probably like so any of them but I want more copies of this book because I really enjoyed it and I even kind of cracked the spine a little bit um but yeah this was great by the way, if you're going to read this, you might want to get a mass market. Unless you hate mass market. But I wish I had a mass market because I started tabbing this. So I was not just going to switch to mass market because I already tabbed like so much of this book. Um, so I didn't. But bringing this around with me was hell. Like carrying this. Like there was a point where I spent 15 minutes trying to fit this thing into my school bag because I wanted to read at school boy <laughs> so like there was a time where i had my like 40 pound bag on my back because you know school and then i was holding this running around the hall so definitely it is a pain to carry around and it, i was happy that i read the bulk of it um well i read not the bulk of it i read did read a chunk during august so it wasn't like you know all at school you know what i mean um so i definitely suggest maybe getting the mass market to read it if you're comfortable with mass markets just because it is a pain to halt like to carry around or i'd even recommend getting an ebook on your phone so if you're on the go you can read it there as well <laughs> again let me know your thoughts down below i'm blabbering this is a weird video thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for when i post new videos and all that sort of stuff and i'll see you all very soon with a new video Bye.